Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Today is, what is today? Friday, May 22nd, 9.31 p.m. And um, today's video, it's uh, interesting because I finally found something that I could do at home and get paid. So, um, the the short version of what, what I did was I signed up with a company called Webull and um, I'm able to buy and sell stocks and um, I was able to make a small profit. Um, but what's interesting is that I, um, I did a little research on YouTube and um, I only saw half the video. It was so funny. Um, basically, um, I went online to try to find someone, um, to help me get advice as to how to buy and sell stocks, buy and sell stocks, trade stocks, um, however it works, buying and selling trading. So I'm going to type in how do I trade how do I trade stocks so I'm typing in how do I trade stocks in um, YouTube hit enter and there's information that says stock trading for beginners learn to trade stocks www.jasonbondtrading.com investing Fast five trade, stock trading made simple, e-trade online. But like I told you guys, I signed up with a company called Webull and they do not charge for uh, trades. And it looks like e-trade online brokerage, zero commission trading. So maybe they do that too. But uh, I decided to go with Webull because I'm trying to get a bonus. I'm trying to get, uh, if I refer someone, whether I make $2 or $15, whatever. And... Um, so here it says trading 101, uh, trading how to buy stocks. Um, and it looks like it's a chalkboard. And it says trading 101, how to buy stocks. And it's 11 minute video. So um, it looked a little boring. So I was like, eh. Uh, there's another option here. It says how I learn to day trade in a week. And it's a guy sitting on the desk. Um, he doesn't look too happy. So I passed on that one. And then uh, this says, the only stock trading video you will ever need in 2020. It sounds a little too um, arrogant, bold. So, um, no. And then, uh, and the one that caught my eye, um, it's called Humbled Trader. She, she has 248,000 views, and uh, this was put up a month ago. And it says, how to start day trading as a complete beginner, day trading for beginners 2020. And it sounds pretty simple. It's, 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 uh, she's got a smile on her face. It says four steps to start day trading. So I'm going to click on her video and uh, let's see if the volume is up. Let's take one second. And talk about fake oh. trading gurus. Okay, oh, wow. one second. This is a big topic. Wow. Okay, this guy. I'm talking about the guys who wear those fancy suits and talk like this, smile like this. Yeah, I'm just wearing. That's what I wear. Put on my white T-shirt. So garbage. Garbage. Yeah, garbage. you're garbage. Sell, you're sell, garbage. Sell, garbage. Sell, garbage. Sell, garbage. Sell. garbage. 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 In my recent video comments and on Twitter and Instagram DMs, I've received tons of questions from people asking me how should a brand new trader to the market start learning to day trade. So that's why I'm making this video for day trading beginners to get started. And my recommendations of how I would personally start again if I can go back in time six years ago. Again, these are my personal opinions, not financial advice. 
The only sound advice I can give you is to make sure to click the like button in order to get. <laughs> the only sound advice I can give you is to click the like button. <laughs> Oh, man. We're in for a ride, everybody. So, um, <laughs> okay. So, this is on the... Um, I'm only going to let her talk maybe like five minutes. Um, oh, okay. Here we go. Because, again, I saw like five or ten minutes of her video. Hilarious. Okay, here we go. Sound advice. Click the like button. <laughs> I don't give financial advice. Get immunity from the viruses. Okay, so that may or may not have been approved by the WHO, but we'll just roll with oh that. Oh my god. So the first thing to do for any beginner traders to get started is to get a paper trading account. Paper trading means you're practicing with fake simulated money in your broker account. Like these fake dollar bills right here. I don't really know what the pink words mean. But I think it's something like completely legitimate American dollar bills. And the reason I recommend starting out with paper trading first is obviously if you're brand new to the market, you have no idea what candlesticks are, technical analysis, reading SEC filings, analyzing news, etc., etc. Candlestick. Not a fire stick, everybody. Candlestick. So why would you risk your hard-earned money and dive straight into live trading and put that money at risk when you have no idea what you're doing? So take. So, let's say for the sake of argument, I have a thousand dollars to invest. Um, I would say don't make the mistake of buying one thousand dollars worth of stock. I think she's correct. If you're just going to go in. Um, there, there should be some, um, whether it's training, whether it's schooling, whether it's investigation, whatever you want to call it, research. Um, I sort of agree with her. Um, but it's again, you know, don't, don't, um, uh, take like, let's say for some reason you have $5,000 and oh, okay, you know, here's $5,000 and I'm just going to go all in. No, 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 no. Um, if you have five thousand dollars, maybe, maybe I would say five hundred bucks invest. Uh, but anyways, let's just continue hearing what she has to say, and uh, I'm gonna have to probably make another video because this, this is already getting kind of long. Take a step back and start with paper trading first. Here are the brokers I recommend to open an account for paper trading. First of all, TD Think or Swim. This is completely free for American users to get started. For the Canadian users, yes, you can open a Think or Swim account for both live trading and paper trading, but you need to keep $5,000 US in the account in order to maintain the live data. Think or Swim also has this amazing feature called On Demand that allows you to go back to historical data and practice the price action of almost any particular stock. So that's an extreme. That's interesting that she's taking the time to uh, explain. Um, you could go back in time and look at historical data. Um, I am not a financial advisor. I'm not a stockbroker. Um, I just happen to find a way to uh, invest my money in the stock market. And today I happen to invest money um, in a specific stock, bought it, sold it, and made a couple of dollars so um this is just an introductory and yeah this is almost a 10 minute video so um yeah i'm i'm, I'm gonna end this here because it's, it's kind of a long video and uh, she's gonna keep talking for a while and i keep pausing it so um yeah this video is basically an introduction to people that have uh people that have whether you have an extra hundred dollars whether you have an extra five thousand dollars um i i think uh this is a way to definitely make uh, money at home, being able to buy and sell stocks. And um, I'll show my video as to what I bought and what I sold and how much I made. But um, th so far, this is interesting, the information that she's giving. Um, so her name, I don't know what her name is, but it's called Humbled Trader. So um, this is just my quick review, listening to her, two minutes and 27 seconds. So. 
Um, I'm going to stop this video, make another video, upload this video. As you all know, I shoot a video, pause it, or shoot a video, stop it, upload it, send it, no editing. Um, maybe I might have one or two videos that I have edited in the past, but hey, <laughs> I, I just take a chance. If you guys like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down. Um, I would love for people to uh, have questions um, as to how to get started. And um, basically, I started with a company called Webull, and it's a company that allows you to buy, sell, trade stocks, zero commission. How long is that going to last? I don't know. So, um, anyways, if you like the content, subscribe. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Like I say, questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section below. Catch y'all in the next one.